Health InfoNet is the organization that operates Maine's Health Information Exchange, or HIE. The HIE is an electronic system where providers share and access a more complete picture of their patient's health information. Think of it as a statewide medical record. Using the HIE to share medical information has many benefits and will ultimately lead to a healthier medical care system. First, a little bit about the organization. Health InfoNet is located in Portland, Maine and governed by a board of directors and committees of Maine people representing many stakeholders including patients, healthcare providers, insurers, and state government. The organization is independent, not-for-profit, and funded through a variety of sources including grants and subscription fees from the providers using the HIE. The organization began as an idea in 2004 to create a patient-centric medical record system for all Maine people. Seed money came from the Maine Health Access Foundation and other private and public sources. The idea was tested with providers and patients across the state, all of which felt it was time to try it out. After two years of planning, Health InfoNet was created with Dev Culver, former longtime CIO at Eastern Maine Healthcare Systems, as its executive director and CEO. After another two years, the technology was built and ready to test out with six provider organizations, including urban and rural hospitals and one multi-site primary care system. So how does the technology work? The HIE is connected to and aggregates information from separate electronic health record systems to create a single patient-centric record. Once the interfaces are built, this happens automatically with no additional data entry on the part of the user. Most information is generally available in the HIE within two to five seconds of creation. The HIE also sends information to the main centers for disease control. State law requires that providers notify the CDC anytime someone is diagnosed with one of 72 infectious diseases like tuberculosis or influenza. To facilitate faster and more efficient reporting, Health InfoNet automates this through the HIE. Providers have been using the HIE since 2009 and have shared multiple reasons why it helps improve their work and the health of their patients. They love how much quicker they are able to get the information they need to make the most informed decision possible. And many have shared with us specific examples where they avoided a medical mistake or duplicate test because they had access to the HIE. Let's hear from a few of them now. I think we saved probably some, several thousand dollars just by logging in because her provider had wanted to do a CAT scan of the abdomen and pelvis and to say, well, here, we have it right here. It was just done at another hospital. And, you know, when you're talking about a CT scan, you're talking about several thousand dollars. So that was a good cost savings. And it decreased this lady's exposure to um, radiation and contrast dye and, you know, whatever else. The patient really wasn't told clearly about what was wrong. And they weren't very clear about what actually was um, provided to them either in treatment or for in medications. They may come in and see you and they had a medication we prescribed to them but they don't have the bottle with them and they don't remember what it was because the name may be complicated. And by going to him you can actually identify what medication it was and sometimes depending on the situation that's really important to know. Before Health InfoNet, um, if a provider came in, I mean if we have a really busy schedule, a provider would come in, they would say, you know, I need I need this discharge summary on this patient. This patient was just at Eastern Maine Medical Center last week. They had some stuff done. Um, I really need to see what happened. That way they can better address the patient as to what, you know, what went on. It's so much better with Health InfoNet. That way I can just get it, print it off, have it in my hand, I can go give it to the provider instead of calling, waiting for the facts, you know, even having the patient leave sometimes without even having their information because we got so tangled up with putting patients in. Um, so that was, it's a big time saver there and it's just so beneficial for the patient. Patients see the benefits too. In this example, Bob has a number of health conditions and medications he's on. Better coordinated care means better care quality and overall experience. Let's hear from a main patient in her own words. 
I, I realize that there, um, you know, there was uh, many studies done about a lot of medical errors uh, in, in the whole healthcare system. So I realize that there's a lot of information that can be missing in a record or can a actually be inaccurate. And so um, I just think a, an electronic record, uh, a place where all the data is, will provide the doctors with uh, correct information, uh, more information than they might have had in their paper files, and that that will make for a better diagnosis for me um, when I go to see them about a particular health condition that I have. So what information is in the system? Here are the different categories of information shared through Health InfoNet. Not every patient record will contain all of these elements. Information is only shared as patients are seen meaning we only collect information from the day a provider connects to the HIE forward. Also, we're not connected to every provider in the state just yet. Note that for medications, we get information from both claims and clinical data. This way, we know if a patient actually picked up the prescription. One note of caution. While the HIE will have much more information about a patient than a provider's EHR, it should not be treated as a complete record. Under HIPAA and Maine law, providers can legally share a patient's medical information with other providers also treating that patient. However, there are additional protections placed on some mental health and HIV-related information. For this information to be visible in the HIE, patients need to give their provider permission to see it. They can do this at the time of care with each individual provider, or they can sign a consent form so that this information is always available in their Health InfoNet record. They do not have to give permission to anyone if they don't want to. The one exception to this is in a medical emergency, when the law allows providers to access this information to prevent harm to the patient or others during that emergency. To access the patient's information, the provider must record in the system their access. This record is available to patients through an audit report. Health Infinite follows the strictest security standards available. All information is sent over private network connections and encrypted when moving from point to point and when sitting in the database. Additionally, demographic and clinical data are stored in two independently encrypted databases. Access to the HIE is available to authorized clinical staff at participating provider organizations. Before they access a patient's record, users must enter their unique password and confirm that they are involved in the care of the patient whose record they are attempting to access. Everything they look at in the system is recorded, and audit reports can be pulled at any time. HIPAA and Maine state law permits providers to share information when necessary to support healthcare treatment. These laws also allow providers to share patient information with what HIPAA defines as business associates. These are organizations like Health InfoNet and others who perform certain support functions like medical record transport, billing, or quality improvement services on the provider's behalf. As a business associate, Health InfoNet is required to protect the confidentiality, security, and integrity of patient information in the same way as the providers themselves. Health InfoNet, however, goes beyond HIPAA in that patients can choose not to have any of their information available in the HIE and can opt out online, over the phone, or on paper. They only have to do this once for all providers. If the patient later opts back in, their record will start over again because Health InfoNet deletes all clinical information from the HIE when the patient opts out. About 1% of patients choose to opt out in the end. Let's do a quick recap. Health InfoNet is a Maine-based, independent, not-for-profit organization. The health information exchange it operates creates a single electronic health record for the patient. Only authorized providers with a need to see a particular patient's information can access the system. Patients can opt out of the system and opt back in at any time. And lastly, Health InfoNet is helping providers across Maine provide better patient care. Thank you for listening to this tutorial. 
For more information, please visit www.hinfonet.org.